And welcome back. Our weather this weekend, it might have started well, a little bit of spring fever, right? Got to hope that it's going to get warmer. I know we have the drought, but spring fever is real. And of course, this reminded our Craig Worth, well, there were some stories about a dozen little amusement parks that used to be part of Utah cities. And one of them was Como Springs. It was part of Morgan for almost 100 years into the 1980s. Hi, Craig. Well, of course, we have film, but not just of the 1980s, but of the 20s and 30s. And I saved a decades old interview from a wonderful lady who was there back then in the 20s. Now, over the last 50 years, you know, I'm pretty fortunate that I've talked to so many Utahns about the old days. There are some people who are no longer with us and it's great to share their stories, oh, such as this one tonight about Como Springs. Como Springs, where you could swim in the pool or dance half the night. Pat Tyrish Five were playing the music and it was, uh, it was fun. And the late Emma Mills Hardy knew those memories of the 20s and 30s when she talked to me 20 years ago. Down here you had the boating, up here you had the swimming. The Ogden Papers said Como Springs stands as the gem of the Morgan Valley, and it was all from beautiful hot springs. Cool Como Springs in towering Rockies beckons to tourists. You could rent a risque swimming suit and plummet down giant slides. The suits were a dime, a towel, a nickel. Yes, at a time, public swimming became the craze in America. The Heiner family owned the place. Hell Heiner says the family hand-built great places for the masses to stay. We talked by Zoom during this time of the pandemic. Back in the, in the early era, in the 20s and 30s, they had 40, 40 little cabins they had for people to stay in. And they just one group cabin and just uh, abandoned them. Well, it seems the overnight guests wanted bathrooms too. So they built a motel, and it was now a full-service resort. They also put in a merry-go-round, but nothing matched the swimming. Well, except for the hot dogs. The hot dog stand was the center of attraction back, back in those days. That was, that, you really had to, everybody wanted hot dogs at Florine and Nola Cook. It simply was a great place for early Utah folks to go. Oh, it lasted up into the 1980s with the slides, the pool, and the picnic tables, even the skating and the dancing. But like many local amusement parks, its time was over. Do you ever wish that you could roll the time back and spend one more day running through here? <laughs> it would be fun to roll it back and, uh, and just really have it like it used to be and one of the last of the Heiner family to have worked at the gem of the Morgan Valley also has wonderful memories of Como. I miss it because it was such a neat place for, for people to come. All from Magic Hot Springs. This one gets, you know, thinking about all those old amusement parks now gone. Remember Sarasota, Wandermere, Ogden, Sylvan Glen, Bountiful's Eden Park, and of course, Salt Air. Oh, so many that you think about these days. Swim in the pool or dance half the night. You bet. I love it. I wish I could go to all of them, Craig. You always make them seem so fun, and I just get bummed out that I wasn't able to visit. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, Alana, and I'm not talking with Craig here and not acknowledging, but like how lucky we are to just like hear this history, and like I'm right here, but uh, it's pretty magical. Soaking it in. Craig Worth is the best. Mr. Worth, we love you. And we loved today, didn't we, guys? Nice day out there. Good to see you, too. <laughs> Thanks, Craig.